Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and today I'm gonna be playing with a beautiful touch with ROM which I can which I consider it to be one of the best touch with ROMs to date right now it's called uh, with Scion version 3.0 and I have to say I'm really surprised on how this ROM evolved from the last time I reviewed I think it, wore, it was uh, some serious months ago but that's not uh, what I want to tell you guys. This is one of the best ROMs because uh, I tested it for kind of four to five hours. And I have to say, I'm really impressed on how smooth, how smooth, how fast it is, how fast it opens up applications. No, it's a single problem. So everything is working properly. It's, it looks and behaves really, really damn well. But before we get cracking, I want to show you this beautiful wallpaper I took a couple of days ago in Brush of Romania. If you want to see more of my wallpapers, because I'm a photographer, uh, please make sure you visit my Instagram at get let's get wicked. That's my Instagram account. Oh, this is my Instagram account. Let's get wicked, and uh, let's be a great community and make sure you follow me there. Okay, and subscribe right down to my channel if you're gonna like this video, but uh, we're gonna be discussing this later on So let's get into the main review because this ROM deserves so much attention in my opinion um, And I'm gonna be splitting this review in a couple of parts I'm gonna be talking about the gaming performance the performance. I got uh, the score the Mesmerizing score I got in Antutu 3D benchmark and you will be really surprised to see what I got, what score I got. Um, I'm gonna be getting to all of its features because we have here a separate panel when you can uh, switch back and forth between different uh, customers' abilities, um, features, you know, settings, with science settings as you may see. And of course we're gonna be playing with it and see how it moves. So, um, for all the Antutu um, benchmark cats <laughs> right there, I uh, know you want to see the score so much. So, that's why I open up this application right now, the 3D benchmark. Oh, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I opened up the wrong application. Um, got so really excited that I fucked up, as always. It always happens. Okay, so 40,000 points. Okay, this is a really great score. And from the first time, I do really feel that it is related to how fast and how smooth it behaves. Because as I told you, this ROM is really fast. Not the fastest one, because you may find other CM ROMs which are faster, but in terms of a ROM based on touchways it is damn fast i will show you what do i mean by that okay so i showed you the performance i got in uh onto benchmark now let's make a speed test internet connection and see if everything is okay okay so 30 30 megabits per second it is pretty decent i would say damn good and let's see the upload speed which is way 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 better almost 60 i got there 55 actually it is uh, 54 55 actually megabits per second it's a really great uh, great score um okay let's launch a game and see how it performs altos adventure one of my favorite games i i don't really play a lot of games but um I found it, I found this on a Google Play Store and I found it to be really addictive. Um, I used to play it a lot on my uh, base touch with um, KitKat base ROM. And uh, by no means, this is really great and addictive. And as you may see, compared to the Android N early build, this has no lag. No lag at all, as you may see. Everything is working perfectly. Let's see if we can do a backflip. Yep, 
perfectly done. So yeah, this room is acting pretty damn smooth in gaming purposes, as you may see. Not a single problem at all. And uh, take a look at how fast it gets to the home screen. So I'm pressing right now. Boom! Right in the home screen and everything is working perfectly. And if I want to uh, open up it again, I may open it up, open it up from uh, Omni Switch, which I consider to be better than this shitty Samsung uh, recent tab panel. Uh, one thing to be mentioned is that, uh, the, as you may see, there's no lag here. No lag in scrolling into the recent tab panel. And damn, I waited that fix for a long time. So thanks for the developer of this ROM. It is really welcome. Okay. Um, here we have a, a, a widget called Super Widget. I find it to be really interesting and catchy. Um, okay, so we also have Game Tuner in order to optimize the gaming performance. And by, uh, by no means, this ROM comes with Imperium Kernel, latest one, and it supports S2X, so you can play with these settings here in order to get more battery life. But uh, to be honest, I couldn't complain about the battery life. It is at 38% right now, and I think I flashed this ROM. Um, let's see if I have some... Uh, I restarted it so many times, but let's see if I get some uh, infos. Yeah, kind of it. I charged it and it got back again. But uh, I didn't really feel the need to say it. Whoa, it drains battery a lot. It is really great for a lollipop ROM and especially a ported ROM because it uses ported applications. For example, this, this one, I think it comes from the Galaxy S6. Um, we have a bunch of options like a toolbox when you can open up calculator and so on. Yeah, these are some uh, really nice uh, applications that are included. And also, this ROM comes with a an application, let's say like that, even though it's kind of a tweak, um, which will allow you to customize most of your settings. And it's called Wiz Cyan Settings, this one here. And let's open it up and see how it performs and what uh, settings can we switch back and forth. Omni switch. This is the, mm, let's say, feature tweak, uh, which uh, is uh, almost the same as uh, the Samsung's own, um, you know, recent app panel. It shows you the latest apps and some different uh, features, like you can clear them all. It shows you the RAM status, as you may see, not a great RAM management of 300 megabytes free, but I have to say that I don't really feel that it's by no means slowed down or something okay power menu items as you see you can switch thick or unthick different options this is the power menu long press on the home button and you get this uh, um, window here power menu options okay you can show on or hide confirmation dialog where for example you want to turn off your device it won't show the dialog uh, system notifications and warnings now as you may see you can allow 180 degrees rotation and I'm going to show you that it, perfect, it works perfectly uh, screen rotation okay and let's play with it Woo! like that yeah so it works in every angle sensors works sensors work okay High driving mode, you can hide different, you know, Samsung um, messages like the battery, the low battery notification, full battery notification, high volume warning, and so on and so forth. Um, now, lock screen and navigation, you can set up different settings here regarding your lock screen. You can enable navigation bar. If you enable this, you will get into a, um, you will get your device hot booted in order to activate it. Uh, status bar settings now. Here you can customize, you can choose between different battery icon styles. styles. Um, it has uh, OG uh, battery included. Um, you can hide time, you can set it up into center, hide alarm clock, 
phone signal display style if it's whether you want to have it uh, displaying four cells five cells uh, or six cells Wi-Fi events icon so on and so forth and you can also display a custom carrier name as you may see I said it here to wicked yes let's get wicked okay hashtag uh, okay and other tweaks that you may want to play with advanced system settings you know you can uh, set up different buttons to do something and you have Wi-Fi password management okay um, what is really important about this ROM is that it comes in a really stripped um, let's, see, let's see status you don't have all that uh, Samsung bloatware you can activate them install them um, by flashing an edge on module uh, I'll link all the files you need right in the description including the XDA thread you may want to check that out for bugs I couldn't find um, but um, yeah it also benefits of themes but to be honest I try to install a new theme from the Google from the Samsung store and I couldn't install it I don't know why it gave me an error there are some pretty let's say mid to major bugs I mean when I open up settings and for example I go to help it says settings has stopped and so kind of this kind of uh, bugs but um, I have to say I'm really impressed with this ROM it really works perfectly as you see the camera works perfectly they shots as it should be um, not a single problem the video recording works uh, pretty damn well now one thing that I wanted to tell you guys uh, is that um, is a really interesting feature I found actually when I play a song and let me turn up volume a little bit and if I go and lock my device and unlock it it will show me this beautiful window and I have to unlock it by doing so like a normal screen but uh, it really looks really pretty damn well if you ask me now this is notification bar um, this is a setting that you can activate in uh, with sign settings this is actually a launcher themed themer which I couldn't get it to work because I don't know it has some errors during the Wi-Fi connection but um, yeah this uh, launcher is pretty damn fast for what you need and uh, I do really believe that you should try this ROM if you want a uh, touch with ROM with great battery life if you ask me and uh, one of the best um, ROM in terms of performance based on uh, touch with at this moment and uh, I have to say my favorite one until now was the Cushion ROM um, that was not as customizable as this and that will make this currently my uh, to top number one my number one um, you know recommend recommendation for you guys if you ask me what is the best touch with ROM um, based on Lollipop because you all know that I think and I believe and I surely recommend that the best ones are still the ones that are uh, um, rocking Android 4.4.2 KitKat so uh, yeah that is pretty much it again please make sure if you want to um, be part of my community please make sure you follow me on Instagram at let's get wicked here you may find pictures taken by me and they are really beautiful I believe <laughs> at least you may, well, you may want to check check them out and uh, yeah that was kind of it for today guys I hope you like my review if you did please make sure it thumbs up and subscribe by down my channel by doing so you'll keep me motivated in doing this kind of reviews okay so um, until the next time please make sure you take care of yourselves and uh, Wicked is out See you next time. Bye-bye.